everybody welcome back to the channel this is Juju the Gamer here and not gonna lie um that very first if you have watched my last video you notice how I mentioned that the CGI in the opening scene of the animation for Hanebado was superb as you saw in the clip that I showed like I said in some anime it works it works to perfection but in this anime it did not so, yeah. Yeah, so, so this anime, I'm kind of on the fence about it, to be honest. I watched it um, early this morning and, you know, jotted some notes down. And and to be honest, I, I'm giving this the three episode, the three episode rule. Because this first episode, while it really, you know, like, like it really set the stage or the foundation of the world that we're visiting... It kind it was very slow and, and it, it was it was kind of slow to me it, it didn't really pick up until about maybe three-fourths of the way in but <clears throat> but uh, at the beginning of this part of this anime we are introduced to this gaming group a part of this MMO the, this virtual reality game we are entering a virtual reality and I'm and not gonna, uh, and I'm gonna be honest. When I first heard about this anime, I was excited. I was like, well, "This is a different take on a virtual reality game," and it's not isekai. It's not a person suddenly appearing in another in another world and they're stupidly overpowered and they can basically do whatever they want. This is a group who has, you know, they've grinded to where they're at. And you know, in the summary, it said that they had a tragic accident with one of their members and they basically just kind of disbanded. So that was basically the point of this first episode. I'm gonna be honest. It introduced us to this super strong group of gamers known as Subaru, who was just dominating this game. Like, like even the best of the best aren't beating the quests that they are. And if they are beating those same quests, as they mentioned, they are losing members. And in this game, they mentioned that if you die, there's no respawn. Your character is basically locked. You don't get to log back in. Your character is just, just, just finito. You're dead. And they called it a state of permadeath. So you, they, it basically is you die. Your character is just dead forever if they die. So what's interesting about this group is that they're, this group is a basically a bunch of middle schoolers who's just owning everybody. So with that being said, let's dive into the meat. And bones of this first episode. The dr this episode was more of a background information on what happened as to why the group disbanded. Um, and it was very apparent apparent early on that there would be a kind of like love triangle between Sasuke, Asahi, and the guy that they in Haruto. It, it kind of centers on those three. And, you know, well, Asahi is, you know, the sweet one, the childhood friend. She kind of knows him the best. And then you have Sasuke, who's kind of like the Sundere, who may not really show that she cares about him, but is still willing to do so. And it showed that when she, you know, she decided to give him a gift as a ring, you know, a gift as a ring, you know, a sort of memento of their journey, you know, something that they treasure. And then in the very next scene, there was, there were, um, she happened to stumble upon Asahi and Haruto talking, and Asahi gave him a ring. And you know the anime may not have said it, or they may not have shown what she exactly said, but the way Haruto reacted, it basically felt that she, that she kind of like confessed. Basically, he was kind of taken by surprise, but he, but. He accepted the gift and, you know, was wearing it. And, you know, Sasuke at this point, she was hiding behind a tree and she had heard everything. So, so when she saw that he accepted the gift, she bolted. She was not having none of that. None of that at all. So, so not, now, that, now that it's basically becoming a love triangle, we are now going into the quest that that they were talking about this very super hard quest 
that nobody has ever beaten and because they're super strong as a group it would make sense that they would want to try this this quest and so so when they got to the quest entrance it's very obvious that Satsuki is kind of just out of it she's kind of just out of it like she's her mentally she's not there she's not there and while you know the second in command, you know, is basically saying because Asahi has such a rare power in the game that she can predict the future outcomes, which is stupidly overpowered. She was like, I will, he basically said, I will stop at nothing to protect her. And, you know, she instantly frowned when she heard that, you know, she's kind of thinking like, why is she getting all this special attention? And so at this point, Sasuke is probably feeling very jealous of of Asahi. So like I was saying before, those two like the same guy as hinted in, you know, the first couple of minutes of this anime. They like the same guy. They both gave him gifts that he, you know, kind of accepted, but she's getting all the attention. Especially from Haruto. So this anime took a real dark turn that I was not it took a turn that I was kinda like not expecting. Um, even though the summary kind of hinted at it, the quest basically was harder than they thought it would, than they thought it was. And so, you know, the support member, the, you know, the kind of sniper, she she was being targeted by the boss. You know, the boss instantly saw her as a threat, was coming at her. The leader went to go protect, you know, went to go protect his sniper. So while he was, you know, he was, a, you know, deflecting all the swords, he missed one. And when he missed one, it hit him, and when he got hit, it hurt. The impact of the blow, you know, kind of stunned him a little, and that's when the boss showed no mercy and fired, I guess, like a beam at him, some kind of beam. And at that point, Asahi basically dove in front of Haruto, basically sacrificing herself for Haruto. And when that happened, you know, the group of middle schoolers basically was like, whoa, what just happened? And they logged off. They they got out the game. They basically raged quit. <laughs> and so, you know, they were all, you know, messaging in their, like, their little group chat. And they were like, yo, she's not responding. What's going on? And so, when they went, you know, four of them met up at, you know, her house. And when they went there, they saw her mother in tears. And so, we event, the audience, you know, we, the audience eventually found out that she actually died in real life. You know, and while, you know, while three of the three of the group members are, you know, sitting and crying at the table in the funeral procession, you know, they're hearing background noise from, you know, the adults. So this chatter is basically saying that, you know, when her character died in the game, she died in real life. Like she had a sudden heart attack. Um, And when that that basically that permadeath, that was real. That was real, people. That was real. That was no joke. That was real. She died. She gone. She gone, baby. She ain't coming back. <laughs> she ain't coming back. And so, basically, the company that made the game, after they heard that news, they was like, whoa. Wait a minute. She actually died? And and they shut the game servers down. They shut it down. You know, which is understandable. You know, a, a, a tragic incident like that happening in the game that you're basically <laughs> that you're supposed to take responsibility of and somebody dies within the game actually and you know it's not just that their character they actually die in the game yeah 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 as a business decision you just need to shut it down because there is no hope there is no hope and while this is all going on Haruto is basically pulling the Sasuke and he's brooding in the rain and and that's where we see the tension of the group just kind of split and, and that's where we kind of saw it. And so, you know, six years has passed. Haruto, you know, you, you could tell it, it really had an effect on him. Like, he's changed a lot. Like, he's not the same. He's changed. And so, you know, he's more, he's more reserved. He's more distant. And, you know, while he and his sister were basically, basically eating breakfast... You know, the channel, the TV was on the news. And while the news was basically reporting that the game union was being 
basically remastered and sold back to the public under a different uh, different gaming company but there was a couple of catches with some benefits one of the catches was that each player had to be able to have like a sense so they have to have like some sort of special ability and those are the only players who are able to play this game the game was free that's a bonus the game was free to play but you had to have like some sort of special ability to play this game um, some of the benefits of this game was that if you did well in the game like really well you were able to earn potential scholarships be able to study abroad and also potentially become a personal exec in the company do you know how fast I would have jumped on that game what what I would have instantly jumped on that game but you know since Haruto had such a bad um, had a bad memory with the first game he's kind of reluctant to play he's kind of reluctant to join until he is pestered by the by noob one and noob two who are I guess are basically his classmates classmates from school who are you know pretty much playing for the same reason everybody else is trying to earn that money and trying to earn them scholarships trying to earn that study abroad uh <laughs> trying to earn that study abroad but the thing is they were such noobs when they went into a dungeon into a cave they were they were basically ill-equipped to really go into the cave because they were such noobs to the game even though they were in the guild the people in the guild did not want to basically did not want to join them on this quest and when they ran into trouble um you know as you see on the screen their archetypes are shape-shifting and magic so illusion techniques what can I do in the fight and that's where Haruto you know he kind of pulls a Shikamaru and just kind of sides and like whatever I'll take over <laughs> I'll take over you know I'm the best archetype suited to face this I'm a fighter let's just get this out the way and because he already has such experience with the game he already knows what to do you know he makes quick work of the two of the two villains. like he immediately senses them and destroys them immediately and so while this is going on something interesting happened so basically the cave turned into a chest like like a room with like a treasure chest opening and Haruto is basically stunned he was like whoa this has never happened before when we were playing this game six years ago so what is going on with this so as you can see he walks to the chest and you know he opens it because he basically it was his reward really he opened it and then Haruto basically gets the shock of his life he probably could have fainted on the spot that's how shocked he was and in the chest was Asahi sleeping and when when the chest was open she immediately awoke and you know she was happy to see Haruto again so I mean I mean that was pretty much the end of the episode um to be honest I, I'm I'm giving this episode the three episode I'm, I'm hoping to see with the inclusion of the other characters how this anime is going and how the potential relationship between the characters since six years ago how have they changed and how can they be resolved because there's going to be a lot of tension Yeah, it's going to. Yeah, like I said, there's going to be a lot of tension um, between the group members themselves. So I'm just really trying to see how can they can they rekindle, or will there be animosity between each other? But I, I'll, I'll say this was a decent first episode. I, I really am going to give this uh, animated three episode uh, rule um, to see if it improves or not. But I, I do feel like this is a good background episode and it sets the stage uh, for more character development for the rest of the series but that's it for today guys um this is Drew the gamer i'm signing out and if you stuck with me this far i would say just thank you for watching um please leave a like and comment
and leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, remember to comment on me high blast that subscribe button. It means the world to me, guys. Um, I do have um uh, the next sports anime, which I believe is Harukana Receiver, and it's an anime about beach volleyball, and I'm real excited for that. So that, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I'll be back shortly. I have some some more videos for you guys, some more heat. I just want to thank you all for coming out again. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.